Hey guys, John here with Realtruck.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Bushwhacker pocket style fender flares onto this 2014 Chevy Silverado. As you can see here, our set comes complete with everything we need to get these on the truck. Um, this is a four piece set, but you can see the, the, the rear fender flare. And I want to point out something to you guys. I want you to take a look at this rear fender flare. One of the really cool things about this fender flare compared to a lot of the other ones is you can see this notch spot right here. That is actually notched out for your gas cap cover on your pickup. Bushwhacker has actually cut that out. I've held this up on the truck. It matches up nice, looks good. So, and I'll show you that when we get it on the truck. Also, you have your, your front flare. And as you can tell here, but th this is a really nice looking flare as well. And comes with your rubber gasket that I'm gonna show you how to put this on. It goes around the sides of this, helps protect these, these edges on these flares. Also, we have these imitation, well they're real bolts, but uh, they give it an imitation, uh, uh, makes it look like they're bolted on. Those actually are gonna go in all of these little spots here on the truck. And they come in these packs. I just opened one up to show you what they look like. Plus your instruction sheet, some really cool stickers to put on your truck when it's all done. And, and when you take a look at these, you can see these things are a nice smooth finish. And they also are paintable. So guys, if you wanted to paint these things up to match your truck, you could do that. It's not real hard to do. Um, next thing we need to, do, need to do then is actually get started on prepping the truck to get these on. So let's get that done. In order for us to install our new Bushwhacker pocket style fender flares, what we need to do is we need to remove this factory piece that comes on here, this trim piece. And that's pretty simple to do. All we need to do is take out the two screws on the side here. Um, I've already actually taken these screws out because I, I had some mud flaps on here that I took off and getting ready for this. But um, well, then what, once you have those off, then all you got to do is just pull it out a little bit and it'll come out of these clips that are in behind it. And then there's another one on the bottom. You slide it forward and then you can just pull it right out of there. And you can see right there, that's that clip that clips it on the bottom. These are the ones that actually clip it in here. Now, these clips right here, you don't have to remove these because our fender flare is going to cover those up. So uh, what I would do is maybe clean this up a little bit where it was dirty behind there. Okay guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to start out by putting our, our pocket flare together. And what we want to take is our, our trim and uh, peel a couple inches of the tape back. And then we want the adhesive side to go to the inside of our flare. And what we're going to do then is we're just going to start installing this down on here. Now I should probably show you before I get too far along. It does have a little bit of a channel. Well, it's gauged a little bit in here for it to actually sit down in here. So you wanna make sure you get it pressed down in there well. As when we get to the end here, what we wanna do is just go ahead and put our end on there and then take a pair of scissors or a razor knife or something along that lines. And then we're just gonna cut this off right here and boom, there we go. We got one all done, and then I'm just gonna cut this off and leave a little bit so we can pull it for the next one. And uh, we'll have, have this all, all ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do then is we're gonna start putting our bolt-on look bolts. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna take our bolt. As you can see, it comes with the bolt, the, the flat washer, and the self-locking nut. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the bolt, we're gonna put it through from the front side, and then we're going to attach our self-locking nut to the back of this. And then you've, you guys notice, you probably will have saw that your kit came with one of these, and this is what you use along with uh, Either a wrench, <clears throat> either a wrench or a socket to put on here to tighten these up, and then you put a wrench or something on the back of here as well. 
and you can just tighten these up. Now, don't over tighten these things, guys. They're self locking nuts. Once you get the thread through the, the plastic part inside this nut, it's, it's not going anywhere. So you just need to get them there and snug so that way they just snug enough they don't rattle around. And that's good because they're not actually holding anything, they're just for looks. So uh, I'll put all those in now and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like after we get all, that, all those in there. So it'll be pretty cool. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our fender flare. And if you guys notice inside the fender flare, you'll see this double edge deal in here. What this does, this works kind of like a spring to keep this thing uh, pressed tight. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our fender flare. We're just going to slide it in here underneath on this side. And then we're going to put it up on here and we're going to put it in place and then raise it up, putting a little pressure on there. And then we're actually going to install a couple of the screws that we took out from our factory flap down here in the bottom. And then what that's going to do, that is going to help hold this in place for us while we uh, mark out where our other ones are going to go. Now that we've got it marked out, uh, grab yourself a pair of safety glasses, put them on, and uh, then you can start uh, doing some drilling here. And all we're drilling is a 3 seconds inch pilot hole basically because our, our screws that we're going to use on this are self-tapping but we need something to, to get them started. So that's what we're going to do. And so we're just going to start in here. Oh, the other thing you need to do too is make sure that where you're putting your holes from the outside of here in is, is, at, le is at least 10 millimeters. So um, double check that, make sure that's good all the way around. And then, uh, then you can drill them out. Once we've got our holes drilled out, then we can go ahead and grab our fender flare and our screws and we're going to start attaching the flare to our truck. So let's grab that. We got our holes all drilled out and uh, so what I've done then is I've went ahead, started a screw down here on the bottom in this spot, started the one up here so just to hold it up in place so that way I could explain to you guys a little better. Uh, what you want to do is make sure that you push this up and you might get, need to get a friend to help you with this so that you can get this thing on here tight because you want these on tight. What we're going to do now then is we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the other four screws and five screws that we have left to put in. Also the ones down here, um, if you notice, let me show you here real quick. Uh, we have two different size screws that come with our, that come with our kit. Uh, the, these are a self tapping style. You can see you have a little drill bit kind of head on there. These do not. These bigger ones that don't have the self tapping, uh, head on them or the end tip on them are the ones that we're going to put down here in the bottom of our flare where we took our our old piece off from down here because uh if you if you looked there's already some things in there to screw these into so uh, that's where those longer ones go so anyway we'll get the rest of these screws in and then uh we'll come back and show you what this looks like all on the truck there you go that's how easy and simple it is to install the front ones. Now we're going to go and we're going to do the back one and then we'll hit the ones on the other side and uh, that way it'll give you a, a real good look at what these are actually going to look like on your truck. And quite honestly, uh, those look pretty good and uh, they fit nice, they're nice and tight. And you guys can see now how much, also how much protection these help actually add to your truck from your tires, especially on this being a lifted truck with bigger tires on it. And uh, they're tough. They'll stand up to some, a little bit of abuse on there too. So you hit a branch or something out on the trail, you're probably going to be okay. So anyway, we're going to do the back ones and uh, show you how to do those. They install pretty much the same way as the front ones. So uh, we'll get those done and we'll get a whole picture of the truck. We need to remove these factory flaps that, that come on our truck. There's one up here in the front of this tire and then this little piece back here in the back as well. And uh, the way we do that is we just take these screws out, they're Torx head screws. We take those out, pull those off, and clean up the area where they were. Once we have that off, the, the two top screws that we took out, which you can see are right here, in this spot right here, 
and right here we need to put those back in because those help hold our inner fender in. The other two we can just leave out. Once we've got those off, then we're ready to put our, our fender flare up here and uh, start attaching it. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold it up here in place, just like what we did with the front one. And then we're going to attach the bottom screws and we're going to use the, uh, the sc those screws that I showed you on the front that came with it. Th those are the longer ones that don't actually have the uh, drill bit end on them. And we're gonna, just going to start those in the bottom. And then uh, basically from here on out, it, we're going to install this exactly the same way we did the front. And that's, we're just going to start these screws in here. And uh, in the front and rear, we're going to leave them loose, but we just want to put them in there just to hold this in place. And uh, then we're going to go around and we're going to push in on this really so it's really snug and tight. And then we're going to make marks in our five remaining holes. And uh, we're going to take this back down, drill it, put it back up and reattach it just like we did on the front. So we're going to go ahead and get all that done and uh, we'll see what this thing looks like when we get this one on. Okay guys, there you go. That's how simple, quick, and easy it is to install these Bushwhacker pocket style fender flares onto your truck. So until next time, happy motoring.